Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can also make this beautiful borders using just a brush tool in Photoshop. You can use this type of border in your sorry sketches, the hanger designs, or any traditional fashion illustration. So let's get started. Step 1. Download a reference border. First, go to Pinterest and search for embroidery border designs. Look for a neat, high-quality border sketch. It could be floral, traditional, or geometric, as you like. Once you find a design you like, and save the image to your computer. Step 2. Open the image in Photoshop. Now open Adobe Photoshop and create a new file. Then go to File, Place Embedded, and place the border image you just downloaded. Rotate or resize it if needed to set it properly. Next, right-click on the layer in the Layers panel and select Rasterize Layer, so that we can edit it freely. Step 3. Clean and desaturate the image. Zoom in and use the Eraser tool e, to clean any extra marks, background edges, or text around the border. Once it's clean, go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate to make it black and white. Step 4. Invert and Adjust Levels Now go to Image, Adjustments, Invert, this will switch the black to white and white to black. Then go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. A box will open with three sliders, drag the black slider to the right to darken the lines. Drag the white slider to the left to brighten the background. Adjust the grey slider if needed for perfect balance. This step makes your outlines more defined and clean. After that, take the eraser tool e, and start removing any extra lines, marks, or unwanted areas manually. You can also use the magic wand tool to quickly select and delete large white spots or dirt if needed. Make sure your border looks clean and sharp before moving on. Step 5. Define your border as a brush. Select the Rectangle Marquee tool, M, and click drag to select just the border area. Now go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, give your border a name, and hit OK. Your embroidery border is now safe as a custom brush. Let's try it out. Take a new sheet. Select the brush tool and scroll down to find your new border brush. And see. You can also change the brush color. But when you drag the brush to create a long border, you might notice a dark overlapping line. Don't worry, we'll fix that. Step 6. Brush Settings Go to the top menu and click on Window, Brush Settings. Now in the Brush Settings panel, increase the spacing. This will reduce the overlap and make the brush look like a clean repeating pattern. Click on Shape Dynamics, Angle Jitter, Control, Select Direction, so the brush follows the movement of your cursor. Now try again, the border will flow smoothly without those heavy overlaps. Now take a golden color, you can use the hex color code, hashtag C6A857, a rich, embroidery style gold. Step 7. Save the brush with all settings. To save this brush permanently with all your adjustments, Click the tree line menu in the top right corner of the panel. Select New Brush Preset. Make sure Include Tool Settings is checked. Give your brush a name and click OK. Now your brush is safe with all the settings, and you can reuse it anytime without readjusting. And that's it. You've created a beautiful embroidery border, turned it into a custom brush, adjusted it perfectly, and saved it all in just a few minutes. In the next video, we'll be using this same border brush to design a full outfit sketch, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.